Okay, guys, what I'm going to do this time in this, uh, I guess, the next few uh, tutorials, uh, show you unwrapping uh, the stonework around the, the door frame and the door, okay? We've done the door. Um, I don't think I recorded a door frame, but I think maybe if you need it, I'll, I'll record that as well. So notice the difference on the right and on the left. Um, at this point, this has beveled edges. This does not. So I'll start with one, and then we'll go with the other, okay? We'll do both. Um, let me just do this in terms of, I'm going to, I think it's mesh. Let's see where bevel is in this version right here. Okay, edit mesh bevel. Let's go to the options and I'll leave it at two. Let's see what happens. Apply. Okay, that's that. Close and I'll try this one with one and you guys can see um, the amount of detail you want. Uh, let's go to one here. Boom and apply. Okay, so that's pretty simple. We'll do both. Okay, I'll just do this what I don't like here, um, there's triangles, okay? So, that could be interesting. And let me take a more complex one, perhaps. And, um, okay, we'll do that one as well, all right? So, let's start with a simple cube one more time. And, again, I'm just going to go to automatic right here. Automatic uh, projection, okay? And you'll see if I zoom out, automatic projection, basically, it's just... Um, projecting from all sides and I think it's automatically set the default set is to, to six I believe that could be changed all right so let's go let's do this quickly UV editor and here we go I have a bunch of um, faces right or polygon faces here we go what I'd like you to do is to bring this view a uh, close-up of what you're working with and then play around with this viewport here um, and zoom in so you get maximum real estate uh, in terms of what you're doing, okay? One thing I'll do right off the bat is I'll get rid of the um, the grid right there, okay? And what I want to do at this point, I want to find where these faces are and just orient them, and then we'll just do, uh, we'll use this one. Move and sew edges really quickly, okay? So let's see, face over here. Let me just go over here, face, boom, and you know it's that one, right? Maybe I'll go to edge next here. So now I know this one needs to be rotated, right? Okay, cool. Uh, first thing first, whenever I'm in here, I want to right-click and get it into UV mode. There, blue color means it's in UV mode, I believe. All right, so this one here selects the entire polygon. So I'm just going to counterclockwise once, twice. All right? Another thing is, when you're in this mode, it won't let you, like, at times, leave something over another patch, right? So that's okay. So now I'm going to click face again, and look at that. It's there, right? So here, why don't we do this one? This is going to be cool, and it's going to be super fast. All right, so there we go. Edge, perpendicular edge. So now we use the beautiful system of, hang on a second, let me make sure I'm out of this. If not, uh, the entire um, mesh is going to uh, weld together. So let's go to edge here. Boom. And then uh, I just I want to see the green. When it's green, it's active. When you're doing something like this, you see it's green. But if you click it once, sometimes you see this color here amberish that's not it you want to be in green mode okay polygons move and sew sweet okay so I know front top let's go to the right and really I don't have to do anything other than go to edge here right let my do the rest all right so I'll just click like that marquee select polygon move and sew I want the other side so I'll just click here right click sorry edge and boom that's the two and if I press G I uh, didn't do it let's try that again uh, the next one will do it. If, uh, just repeat last command, that kind of thing. All right, so this is good. Um, I want to click on the edge again. Right-click edge. Boom. And where is the other edge, people? Hmm. In interesting this bar. Okay, so we're going to flip it that way. Got it. Okay, polygon, move and sew. All right, this is good. So we got the first one, right? Um, later on, what we're going to do is we're going to create a 1024... Um, page here basically a screen and I'm gonna have you know the three pieces here or the four pieces all in one sheet of uh, UV okay so for now what, what you can do is just go like this bring it in here and you kinda know that you know this is kinda fitting I'm gonna try to do like two three pieces at once on this on this patch right here so I'm gonna slide this over okay leave it alright let's go to this one try again okay without doing anything wow that's pretty cool I just want to see how this works. This is nice. Okay, let's find out where these triangles are. I mean, let's work with the face first, okay? So right here, 
boom, face, you're there, okay. This one is right there, okay. You can see proportionally it's off right now. Okay, that's not bad. I think we can do a lot with this. I can right click, go to UV, and select all these guys, bring them down, and keep it proportional, right? I'm curious as to right now where this patch is, right here, the triangular patch. Okay, so there's that, okay. All good. And then what I'm gonna try to do right now is, here's where it's gonna get interesting. Okay, so the side here, the side face, I'm assuming it's on the right there, boom. Face, not bad, not bad at all, actually. All right, so I'm just gonna take it, UV. I'll say we're good. I'm gonna take these guys, and proportionally I'll slide it in a bit, and this one as well. And notice that it's green, it's lit green here. That means we're working in UV and not verts. Okay, so that's, that's important, guys. All right. Uh, and if you want, you want to keep things proportional, you can just go to Edge, for example, click on this one. Oops. Now, let me see what's, what it's going to do. If I move one, they're both going to move. Okay. So it's best to right-click and be in UV again. See, now if I go to Edge, only one edge is going to move technically. Hopefully. Nope. No go on that, unless I go to UV, I guess. Okay. So this way. And yeah, that's cool. All right. So I'll just bring these two a little out more, out a little more. I'll grab all these guys together. Let's see if that works, kind of. And then I'll take this one over here. I should have zoomed in, being lazy. All right, so second patch, good enough. All right, so what I'll do is I'll UV again, right click UV, I'll take the whole thing and I'll bring it down and I'll move it to the right. Okay, so next one right here, woo! All right, we got lots going on here. Back up. Just select this guy here, and of course, I haven't even put uh, automatic uh, UV yet. Okay, so again, object selected, W, and I've noticed that because I had these all grouped. The center is somewhere else, so I have a center pivot for you guys. Modify center pivot somewhere here. Okay, cool, and I don't like that this is set to, let's try, uh, well, it should have worked. Object, okay, good enough object okay so now let's apply the automatic uv and of course it's still somewhere over there no worries okay object boom and then let's bring this on here come on uv man awesome okay so let's do this one and then i'll do uh, the more difficult one right after this okay first thing first i want to find where this front face is sweet okay that's all right so what i'll do immediately right click uh, uv Boom. All right. So I'm going to go right to edge work and start sewing super fast. Let's see. Where's your other friend, my friend? Or let me just spread these out so maybe uh, we won't get so confused. And proportionally, I think everything's looking really good. So I'll spin this over. And I'm assuming I have to rotate this one possibly this way because I, I delete at the bottom. And, you know, that could be okay. And I believe this one needs to be rotated counterclockwise as well. So let's see how this goes. Let's try one more time. And let's go to edge. You edge right there, sweet. Polygon, move UV. And so, whoa, 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 that was interesting. Maybe I had something on here, eh? Oh, oh, sweet, super fast. How fast? Super fast. I'm assuming now these two edges are the ones. So I gotta get out of this tool. Okay, so edge, I press W by the way, for move. So I'll grab that. Nope, I want it green. So it doesn't know that I'm in UV right now. Right click, UV again, and then edge. I'm sure there's another way of doing this. I'm not sure. There we go. Come on. Okay, now it's green. All right, move and sew. That's not bad. This is good. All right. Now, I'm going to select uh, the entire selection here. I think there's a way to do that with control uh, right click as well, or option right click. Come on. Nope. It's not working. Oh, because I already have this on. Let me try this again. There you go. Polygon, face. That's, you know. All right. I'm going to take this entire piece, UV. Okay. Right click UV. And I'm going to scale it down. And let's pretend for a minute that I'm actually putting the three stones that I just did. Um, and one more. The more complicated one I'll do in a second in here. Like that. One. Check it out. Two. Get your friend here. Boom. Click once. And R. And I'm going to press W for move. And I'm going to bring it over here, maybe. I'm all the way down. I think they may be, I may have to rotate this one. 
and let's do it like that. Okay, and if I hold shift, I'll see both, see? But again, I have to possibly work on uh, proportions as well. Right, right in here, nice. And the third one, which is there, and my friend's on here, click once, R, and come on, come on, come on. There we go, W. There we go, and let me just make it a touch smaller. W in here. So what I'm doing is I'm adding um, multiple polys on the same UV uh, work. Okay, so we'll play with our friend one more time. I may have to rotate this guy again. One, two, awesome. Let's go something like this. And I'm gonna have to redo this. I mean, I'm gonna have to resize these in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy here, object, and I'm gonna actually immediately bevel it. Let me get out of here, I've multi-selected it. Zoom in here, zoom over here, click out, click once. Okay, so, and let's do uh, edit mesh here. Just uh, bevel, and I'm gonna go to two. All right, do apply. Okay, so this is gonna be the hardest one so far for us, okay? So click once. We didn't do anything, right? And uh, if you get a chance, folks, edit, delete by type history before you do anything and modify center pivot. Okay, because I had all grouped all these right there. Okay, now press W, better be there, yes. And now I'm gonna apply the auto UV. Okay, right on, we're in. All right, face first. Okay, let me find um, this surface here. Okay, so get our get our move tool here, the entire one, and counterclockwise. One, two, three. Awesome. There you go. Here's one. Here. Okay. So now I'm going to take this one. Obviously, it needs to go boom this direction. I'm assuming in the back at some point. I'll leave it. And then again, uh, just to double check, everything should be in UV mode. Okay, it is. All right. So I'll just go to edge here. And I need green, guys. Nope. Let's try again. UV, select all, right click, edge. Are you kidding? Oh, I know why. You have to always get out of this tool. It's something we have to remember. Okay. Onco Infla, UV, edge, right? Okay. Do we have green, folks? I don't know if this is going to work right now. Z. I don't like how that went. Okay, I'm gonna do this one more time here. Okay, go to edge. There. Let's hope that works. That's better. How nice that was. Awesome. Oops. <laughs> Hold on. Let's uh, move the entire piece here. Okay, so this is great. This I'm very happy with this right now. All right. It did all of it at one shot. So let's find where this goes. Any guesses? I'm guessing it's going to connect somewhere over there. So let's see. Edge. Let's go to edge here. Oh, get out of the tool. There we go. It's green, right? That was green. See what it does. Move and sew. Awesome. It did go where I wanted it to go. Great. Proportionally, I'm loving this. Okay. So we'll use our friend here. And I'm going to scale it. Press R. That's small. So let's try to rotate it maybe this way. And I'm going to bring it on this side. Let's see if we can bring them all on one patch. Okay. And maybe I'll make this 1024. Doesn't matter. Holding shift. Two. So you can see that one, three, four. So the idea is right now you have to get creative to uh, place these guys together, okay? So I can come over here, remember? And I can move this guy up right to the edge. Over, touch up. And I'm gonna bring this one over like that. See, it's not letting, you can't overlap sometimes. Okay, no problem. I'll move it here. Sorry, guys, I should zoom in for the sake of the uh, camera here. And I can make these a touch smaller as well. R, okay. W for move. Um, slide down. Oh, yeah. That's looking pretty good. And I've got enough space in between them. 
I'm going to select this patch here, or for scale, touch smaller. Yep, view as well. And then again, scale, and let's bring that up. touch smaller. I, I think they're all proportional. I think this one is the only one that's really a little larger than it needs to be. So again, R, pop it here. W for move. Awesome. They're all fitting beautifully together. Happy family here. Okay, so you slide over more. And let's see what we can do in this guy. Scale it down a touch uh, so it looks proportional. W, bring it over. Oh, yeah. Here we are. This is awesome. I'm happy. And, you know, you can give yourself more room if you like in between these guys. So, so far, I have four, four stones. Stones, I say. Four stones all in here. So at this point, this is pretty cool. What we're going to do right now is go to Polygon, take a UV snapshot, and this time it's 1024. Make sure you know where the, your file is going. Right now, I'm making a new folder on my desktop. It's today's demo. And I'll go, uh, uh, what am I calling this? Portico. Let's call this Portico Stones. OK, underscore is 0, 1. Uh, oops, let's go to UV01. UV01. OK, all right. Let's. Um, Usually when I'm doing this, I don't want anything lit that way. So I'll have to go to object mode. I'll do it again. Hold shift, two, three, four. Okay, better this way. Let's do right over it. Okay. And I'm going to go to desktop one more time. In here. And yes, right over. Yes. Okay, good. All right. I think uh, it's over right. I'm going to stop here. And then uh, we'll do some more texturing. Okay, guys. Thank you. 16, almost 17 minutes. Valiant out. See ya.